great way to ensure that your assessment of student understanding is authentic is to give students audio or oral assessments. In this video, I will be walking you through how to set up a Google Form assessment that incorporates audio responses with the help of the Chrome extension Moat. I also have a free copy of the template I used in the description box below this video. do is access the Chrome Web Store and add the Moat Chrome extension to your browser. It's also important to make sure that your students have done this as well. If you already have Moat installed, make sure that you have the latest version of Moat. So this should have been updated on the 5th of May and it should be version 1.01. .01. Next, create a new Google Form document. Click Add Question and right away you're going to see that you have the little Moat icon um, available. If you're a teacher and you'd like to add a voice recording to your question, all you have to do is um, give your question a heading, such as question one, and then click the um, moat icon to begin recording. Now, once you click this icon, it will start recording right away, so make sure that you have your question ready to record. Notice that it will give you 30 seconds, um, and that is available with a free version of moat. If you have the upgraded version, you'll be able to record more than 30 seconds. But for me personally, I find that 30 seconds is enough to add a question um, or even an explanation for the students. Once you're done, you're going to click on done and you'll notice right away that you have the um, recording or the link for the recording created. So for example, if this was a question, we have the different options for students. Um, this is how it's going to look like. All right, now let's say that you are a student and you want, as a teacher, you want your students to be able to add audio uh, answers. So let's say you're giving them an assessment and you want them to answer orally. How do you do that? So in order for this to work, you're going to have to change the question type from multiple choice to short answer. And you can write your question or your prompt And as a student, they would have to click on where it says short answer and record their uh, response. So let me show you how this is going to look like. If we click on preview, you'll notice right away, um, again, if, uh, if the recording is part of the question, we have it embedded in the question and the student would then just click play. Okay, nice and clear. And if you are a student trying to record an oral answer or oral um, response to a question, then all they would have to do is click on the moat icon and just begin recording their answer. Again, they are also limited to 30 seconds, but like I said, for the most part, um, 30 seconds is usually more than enough time. If the answer is going to take longer than 30 seconds, then perhaps you can create multiple um, sub questions and that way they have um, more than one chance to continue to continue on the response and that's about it so you'll notice once the student has recorded it's been uh, it's been converted into a audio link which you can then play okay so you can then play it as a teacher and even the student can play their own uh, responses to double check if they don't like their answer, they can remove it and re-record and so on and so forth. And then, of course, once once they're, they're sure of the responses, they can click on submit. And that's it. Super simple. Oral or audio assessments have so many benefits. First of all, they take into account the diversity present among learners. They enable students to develop verbal communication skills that will be so valuable in their future careers. With the use of an effective rubric, grading can be quick, simple and transparent. In addition, incorporating audio clips into your assessments can be beneficial for special needs students, such as those who are visually impaired or dyslexic. It's also great for ESL students that might comprehend a question more clearly if they're able to hear it rather than just see it. 
Now, this method is not just limited to assessments. You can embed audio with Google Forms for many other things. You can use it to help students practice their vocabulary, practice a new language, embed into a choice board or choose your own adventure type activity for a more engaging experience, add it to your Google Forms rubrics for an audio feedback option, and by the way, I will be uploading a video on how to do that soon. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss it. What are some other ideas for incorporating audio into activities and assessments? Share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Have a lovely day.